Good morning, everybody on YouTube. It's a new beautiful day that God's made for us. Amen. It's just a beautiful day here in Oklahoma. It's a beautiful morning. Um, I'm going to be giving a, my first message here on YouTube. It's called, Continue to Share the Light and Love of God. Continue to Share the Light and Love of God. And um, I'm going to be reading, but before we do, we're going to pray real fast and ask God to have his way. Because, guys, this is all about him. This is not about me. And um, it's all about him. It's just a new day that God's made. I'm ready to see what he has in store. I'm ready to go deeper with him today. So let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this lovely morning you bless us with. Father, I kneel at the cross of the cross, the cross of Christ. I humble myself to you. I deny myself and I pick up the old rugged tree. And Father, I follow you. I pray this video would go forth and may touch someone, either someone who's lost, someone who's backslid, a brother or sister in Christ who's backslid from the faith, or God, someone who's on their way to hell this morning. Father, a Christian who's on his way to hell, I pray you just get a hold of his and her's heart. I pray you convict their hearts that they may be saved again. There's no one saved, always saved. Father, that they be saved, truly saved, and restored. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Thank you all for joining me. Alright, so anyway, in this message, um, I, was gonna, I know some of you say, John, really? You're not reading out of the Bible, you're some Christian. Well, let me tell you something, guys. I love reading out of my Bible. Don't get me wrong. But mo the most important thing I like to do, I love to read the Word of God. Either out of my Bible, on my phone, but also also on my, my laptop here. This is my sister's laptop. Hold on, I'll show you it. See it? my sister's computer right here it's nice though but anyway let's get into the word this morning I felt God bringing me this to share it last week and I'm going to do it this week because I, I don't like to disobey God amen amen so anyway if, if you have your Bibles or if you're taking notes I want you to write down these verses Matthew chapter 5, 13, and I'll be reading in the King James Version. I'm going to go to 16. Matthew 5, 13 to, 6, to 16. Let's read. Ye are the salt of the earth, but the salt has have lost his Savior, wherewith shall be salted. It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out, and to be trodden underfoot of men. Let's go to verse 14. Ye are, ye are the light of the world. A city it, that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Verse 15 and 16. Listen guys. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth life unto all that are in the house. 16, I'm about to close. Listen what Jesus says in lesson good. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Now guys, I want you to think about what Jesus is saying. He's saying, look, look y'all. Let your light shine. Let your love shine. You know, I was sharing another verse, and I'm going to go to it. I know it by heart, but I also know it in the Word of God, the Bible. The Bible tells us to love one another. Jesus strictly commands us to love and not lust. He says, A new commandment I give unto you. That you love one another. 
as I have loved you. And he said, by it, all men will know that you're my disciples if you have love for one another. You know, after I, I gave my life over to Jesus, after I gave my heart to him and I repented of all my sins, I always wondered after I got saved, I was like, who you mean love one another? Do you just mean my fellow believers, my, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, and that's it? Guys, that's not just who Jesus was referring to. Love one another means love everybody. Guys, you cannot be a Christian yet love some people and hate some people. There are Christians today who want to say who they want to love, but yet God says love everybody. But he does say also to hate their sin, but do not hate that person. The Bible says that we have to pull people out of the fire, the fires of hell, pull them out.